Next question is from Jay Herrick. Is it more beneficial to break your workouts into splits or can a full body be just as effective? Okay, so I know what the studies say. Hmm. And the studies we haven't talked about this in a while. The studies show that if volume is equated um, and controlled, that really it doesn't make that big of a difference if you do up a split versus a full body workout. Um, so long as frequency of hitting the body parts is kind of similar and total volume is is all controlled. And I get that, okay? I've seen the studies. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Now, here's where I'm going to go uh, kind of different than the studies. Based off of my experience of training lots and lots and lots of different people, generally speaking, for most people on a long-term basis, full body type workouts just work better. And here's there's a couple reasons why. One, full body workouts tend to promote more frequency of training the body parts. That's number one. That's a huge one, though. That's a big one. Because the, the thing that I wanted to add to what you're saying right now is that the thing that none of these studies do is they don't factor in what we have got an experience in doing, which is learning about people's behaviors. Correct. Yeah. And that is a, such a huge piece of this. And after you've trained tons of people, you start to pick up on these patterns of, oh, wow, sure, in a perfect six-week study where we control the body part split, volume is exactly the same, we're splitting hairs on which is better or right. not. But when you factor in what we tend to see with people's behaviors, and that's if I have a client or clients that are on body part splits, what tends to happen over a six-week period of time or even months or longer than that is you know vacation happens or they get busy one day or this week they only made three days in the gym instead of five or six, which they would need to do in order to hit all the body parts with the same amount of volume. Or they skip the body parts they're ne not necessarily big fans of. Right. It, it was. It's not uncommon for a dude to follow a split with good volume and stuff, and oh, leg day coming up. I'll just do one of the leg day workouts, and I'll skip the other one. When when you do a full body routine and you're training your whole body, behaviorally speaking, you tend to be more consistent with what you're doing. Now, here's the other reason. This is more of a physiological one. So let's say, okay, fine, I'm consistent no matter what. What's the big difference? This is my uh, theory. Okay, when you train the whole body. First off, the muscle building signals, a lot of it is localized. What that means is if I just work my biceps, most of the muscle building signal goes to the biceps. But there is this systemic muscle building signal that gets to, that kind of gets sent. So when people just train their arms, most of the, are, the gains go in their arms. But studies show that their legs develop a little bit too. Or if you just train one side, you know, if I just train my right arm, it would definitely get bigger and stronger than my left. But we do notice in studies that the left arm gains a little bit of muscle as if the body's trying to balance itself out, okay? Mm -hmm. So that tells me that there's a systemic muscle building signal that's being sent, okay? I believe that training the whole body sends a much louder overall systemic muscle building signal than training individual body parts on a split. I think it's a bigger, louder more effective signal. And by the way, this is how all bodybuilders and strength athletes trained before steroids became a thing. Yeah. Before they became a thing, everybody did full body workouts. What you're describing, I've actually heard it uh, termed irradiation, like the the concept of irradiating, um, you know, uh, more muscle fibers will uh, be activated as a result of, you know, like doing an isolated movement with with my my arm, like I'm doing a, a bicep curl, like, uh, you know, my shoulders are going to get affected, my pecs are going to get affected, like I could brace and, and anchor my body down with my core, my legs are going to feel, you know, a bit of tension with that, so uh, it, it does, it spans, uh, you know, across the body and get you get more bang for your buck that way. And this is why like the, you know, the total body approach to me just has, it, it just has more functional application, but it also, uh, you know, tends to lead more towards uh, muscle development. Yeah. And you tend to people, here's a behavioral one. When you're doing three full body workouts versus a split where you're hitting different body parts, people tend to choose the most effective exercises with the full body. And with the splits, they tend to do more of the pumping isolation, you know, type of equipment. And that, that might be okay if you're a well-developed bodybuilder where you need to do special focus on certain things, but most people are not. Most people are not, you know, stage ready and haven't been training for, for 10 years or whatever. And so what you find when you see full body workouts is people squat more often, people press more often, they row more often, they do more of these effective exercises. When they do splits, you see more cable exercises and machines and isolation exercises. Now, what does that mean in terms of results? You're going to build more muscle and more strength 
with those most more effective exercises. Mm-hmm. I actually read an article once where they interviewed several top strength building coaches, people who work with a lot of everyday people, not specifically bodybuilding coaches, but rather coaches who work with like like us, lots of everyday people. And the consensus was that eight out of 10 people are going to get superior results with a full body routine uh, over a split. In my experience, that's 100% along the lines of what, I, what I've experienced. Great. 80% of the people that I've ever trained, which is Probably 80% of the people listening to this podcast right now, you're just going to generally get better gains across the board, better aesthetics, better strength by doing, you know, two or three full body workouts a week rather than doing, you know, a type of split. Now, splits can also be effective, depends on the person. We have a program Mm -hmm. that is a split. It's called MAP Split. So we wouldn't have created a program if we don't think for some people there's, there's value in that. But if you look at all of our programs, most of them are kind of centered around this full body approach because most of you listening are going to do far better that way. And by the way, I switched to a full body workout routine when I was already advanced. The first, I don't know, 10 years of my training was splits. Mm -hmm. Then I started reading old body magazines from the 40s and articles of strong men and, you know, John Grimmick and Steve Reeves and Eugene Sandow. And I said, ah, you know, they all did full body routines. Let me try what happened. I never look back. I've never done really a split for a long period of time because full body, for me, who's trained for a long time, far superior in terms of the I game. was the same way, but mine really was for the consistency reason. And I got to think that there's a, a large portion of the people listening right now that would agree that they are they probably fall in a category more like myself than the crazy bodybuilder who hasn't missed a workout in eight years. Mm. You know, what ends up happening is, you, you know, you have a week that was great. You're in the gym five or six days a week, and then another week it's three or four times a week. And what ends up happening when you run splits is something always suffers. Mm. Where if I'm if I'm running a full body routine, nothing ever suffers. If I miss a day in the gym, I still hit everything evenly. Mm-hmm. Where that that's what's nice about for me. That's what I have found the most beneficial is that I never am inconsistent with a muscle group mm-hmm. because it's inevitable you're going to have weeks that you you miss a day or two in the gym here and there. That's completely normal. Other thing other priorities in your life. And so when that happens, it's not a big deal because that week you still hit. A full body routine. The muscles aren't being under under hit. Yet. Mm-hmm. I also found too that I'm less likely to overreach. Uh, you know, in certain yeah. yep. body groups, like where I I do leg day and I would just blast my legs and it would, uh, uh, you know, affect the whole rest of my week. I would have like terrible workouts after that. That's yeah, the other thing. Absolutely. I mean, think about it this way. Let's say today's chest day, right? My shoulders and triceps are still getting a little bit of work and then tomorrow's shoulders and triceps and then the next day's back but my my biceps are going to get a little extra work you don't have like full days of full rest like you do with full body i'll say this and i 100 percent will stand by it for the average person you can develop a decent physique with two full as long as your diet's good and you're otherwise relatively active two full body workouts a week would be phenomenal for most people most people would be quite satisfied if they did a good two-day full full body routine now, for people who want to get advanced, get really strong, have high strength numbers, three days a week of full body. If you had good programming, otherwise good nutrition, good good you know activity, three days a week could develop a phenomenal physique. I do, for the most part, I follow that. Now, I'm active on the other days too, but for the most part, my lifting is three full body workouts. Now, you go back in time, look these people up, look up John Grimmick. Look up Steve Reeves. Look up Eugene Sandow. Look up some of those old-time strength and tell me that they don't look phenomenal. And by the way, those guys largely trained naturally. They didn't even take supplements. Creatine didn't exist back then. Look at their physiques. They worked out three days a week, maybe four days a week, full body routines, and they looked phenomenal. So for most people, full body is just tends to be uh, the most effective.